pandemics, wars, and other unplanned chance events are known to play important roles in how organizations make decisions for their futures. But how and why do chance events become part of the processes that result in strategic change? By studying the history of the Nokia Corporation between 1986 and 2015, scholars found that chance events and political dynamics generate periods of collective indeterminacy, where multiple competing strategies become apparent before one is finally selected and pursued. Nokia went through two periods of collective indeterminacy, where many competing strategies were considered. In the 1990s, Nokia eliminated its core businesses of consumer electronics and information systems to focus on mobile phones and telecom networks. Later, in the 2010s, Nokia sold off its mobile phone business to Microsoft and focused on developing network equipment and services. In both cases, chance events such as the death of Nokia's CEO in the late 80s and Apple's creation of the iPhone in 2007 sent Nokia into periods of indecisiveness. During these periods, competing groups and political coalitions emerged within Nokia's top management as managers repositioned themselves in terms of what they perceived to be the future strategic direction of the company. Internal processes and pressures produced outcomes that seemed surprising, unforeseen, and improbable at the outset, as chance events opened new strategic opportunities and influenced the entire decision-making process surrounding strategy. Chance events not only changed the outcomes, but also the processes of getting to those outcomes. Wonder what role chance plays in determining organizational strategy? If so, you may want to read this paper.